Okay, so you did that. Excellent. But the weird thing is that although it caught my error, somehow I still managed to get a 6 coming out. Well, what? Well, up here, I actually we gave max a value. And we gave the value that it could be anything up to a 6. When we did the how many sides of the dice do you want, and it caught the error, that was it. It caught the error and said, okay, well, uh, you're never going to get the chance to tell me how many sides of the dice you want. Ha-ha! <laughs> Is... I'm never going to ask you that question again. So we don't really want that. What we want somehow is for it to keep asking the question. Now, how do we do that? Well, we could try different ways to do it. If I typed in while true, capital T, please, colon. Now, of course, you've now got some indentation errors, so I've got to go through. And I'm just pressing the tab key once. That's moving it along. So you don't need to end it because it's going back to the left-hand side afterwards. We can try that. See what happens. Then first player A, then second player B. How many sides do you want in the dice? Purple. How many sides do you want in the dice? Ah, well now it keeps asking the question. Okay, six. How many sides do you want in the dice? Oh, five. Five. It keeps asking the question. Um, so what have I added here? Well, what I've done here is what we call uh, a loop that will always go around. Is a while is a loop. And it says while certain condition is met, then keep going around. And oddly enough, by putting the word true in, it's going... Well, while it's correct, and it is correct, always loop. So this, unless we have a way of stopping it, will always loop through. So that sort of works, but it's not perfect. But we'll start with that. So I'd like you to type in your while true, give it the test, and see if you get the same thing, where no matter what you type, it always loops around this bit. Away you go.